navigation is a really important part of every sailing trip. Planning where you're going, how you're going to get there, how fast, how safe you're going to make it is actually part of the enjoyment of each sailing trip. And I would definitely recommend you allow yourself enough time to properly plan each trip because it will help both reduce your stress on the water uh, but also enhance your enjoyment because you'll have more time to kind of look outside the boat and experience being in the environment and less time worried looking at a chart. So I think some of my top tips to help you plan for each trip but also navigate well are to research where you're going, tie it in with the weather forecast, make sure that the trip you're planning is appropriate to the weather, but also understand whether there are any tidal restrictions getting in or out of ports and make a judgment on whether your boat is capable of sailing against any currents. For example, round here in Paul, sailing upwind on a spring tide may be quite challenging for smaller boats. The next thing is make sure that you have adequate charts on board. So that could be paper charts covering the whole of your trip, but also you can have electronic charts on either mobile devices or like we have on Medallia on fixed screens in the cockpit. Share your plan and your trip with someone else so that there is someone else on the boat who knows where you're going, but also someone on the shore who knows where you're going and when you're expecting to be back. When you're out on the water, you can delegate quite a lot of the tasks of navigating and keeping the boat safe to your crew. And actually that delegation both gives them empowerment and makes them feel like they are actually part of the crew and they're contributing to keeping the boat safe on the water. But it also means that you have less on your shoulders as the skipper. So keeping a good lookout is important and encourage your crew to feed back what they're seeing to you. Whether you've seen it or not, you should welcome any information they're giving to you. And the other thing as well is just regularly making sure you know where you are. So if you're sailing past a headland, make sure you know which headland that is. If you're sailing past a buoy, make sure you know what buoy that is. And if you know where you are at any given time, then that will give you so much more confidence, but also it will put you in a better situation should conditions change or you need to change your plan. After that, I would definitely recommend that you spend more time looking out of the boat than looking at a chart. It's great to have chart plotters in the cockpit or on mobile devices because you can see where you are all the time. But don't forget that there's a whole living world outside around you and there are things on the water that will change that you will be able to spot that won't be reflected on your chart plotter. So keep your eyes out of the boat, keep engaged with the weather and the traffic around you and all the beauty that is on the water while you're sailing and just update your position on the charts regularly so you know where you are.